take a look here. 37 of 72 games have been announced. 19 home, 18 on the road in this first half of this NBA schedule for the Nets. Three series, consecutive games versus an opponent in the same arena. Two games in a row in Brooklyn against the Hawks. Two games in Cleveland against the Cavaliers. And two games in Brooklyn with the Heat. And a five-game, 10-day West Coast trip February 13th to the 21st, Warriors, Kings, Suns, Lakers, Clippers on that West Coast journey. Coos, as we put the finishing touches on Nets Hot Stove, what are some things, some games you may be looking forward to, some matchups you're all looking forward it. to? All of it. Can I say all of it? <laughs> no, yeah, right? I, th I think it's interesting. <laughs> I mean, you look at these series and, and playing uh, a team, you know, in, in the course of two days, the same team, how that kind of stacks up with often when you're asking coaches, mm -hmm. you know, thinking about the last meeting, the quickness of that turnaround, the adjustments that are made. Uh, and just in general, there's a lot of new faces and new places and just some of these matchups matchups how we'll be able to see what about you G I want to uh, what are you most looking forward right, to you know it, it, to, it, this is the kind of team where it doesn't matter the opponent yeah, yeah. you know uh, it, right out of the gate against Golden State is a fantastic matchup but that will be our opportunity I know we'll have the preseason but in terms of regular season Kevin Durant the black and white yeah it, one of the best scores in NBA history playing for the Brooklyn Nets stepping out there on the court and competing in a, in a meaningful uh, NBA game. So right out of the gate, the matchup with the Lakers will be fantastic, too. A lot of storylines, and we hit on one in the opening segment, too. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of storylines around that one, but the first matchup with the Lakers will be great. The story within a story. I also think it's it's important, you know, for us, the, the Nets playing on opening night, the Nets playing on Christmas Day. What a privilege and what an honor in how players really take and teams really take pride in that. Um, so for all those reasons, I, I think you're spot on. And two, I just think, you know, the newness and the uniqueness of the season and just how it's different. I know the players experience uh, the bubble without fans, but just how being in different arenas and how that will settle in and translate to their performance on the floor.